Hello guys, today in Kissing Toys we got the Nickelodeon Dora and Friends. Welcome to Fairy World. It's fuzzy. It's very fuzzy, says Lottie. One starry evening, Dora and her friends gathered around a campfire to make s'mores. A treat made out of graham crackers and roasted marshmallows and melted chocolate. Elena had never had s'mores, but she was excited to try one. Look at that. But when Pablo opened the marshmallow bag, he saw that all the marshmallows were gone. Mira, cried Alana. Fireflies were carrying the marshmallows away. <laughs> Can fireflies do that? No. Kate and Emma stayed at the campsite. Everyone else chased the fireflies into the magical forest where they turned into fairies. Let's follow the fairies and get our marshmallows back, said Dora. She and her friends followed the fairies into a cave. Okay. Inside the cave, Pablo used a net to catch one of the fairies. Will you help us find the other fairies so we can get our marshmallows, he asked. The fairy nodded. I promise. Ooh, what is that? Dragon. The fairy introduced herself as Pine Oh, Max. mommy, let me feel it. Oh, you want to feel that? Cool, you can feel this book. That's why little toddlers love it. The fairy introduced herself as Pine Nut. She led Dora and her friends to the top of the mountain where other fairies were throwing the marshmallows to a hungry dragon. The dragon was roasting the marshmallows with his fiery breath and gobbling them up. Yum. Pretty. Pine Nut said the dragon protected the fairies from mean goblins called Los Duendes, who tried to stop them from granting wishes. In return, the fairies fed the dragon. Our dragon only eats marshmallows, explained Pine Nut. Only marshmallows? Oh, Did you feel it? Okay, next page. Dora shook her head. It's not good for him to eat only marshmallows, but he loves them, said Pine Nut. <laughs> That's all he eats is marshmallows? Just then, three dark shapes appeared in the sky. Las Duendes was coming. The dragon tried to get up, but he could only groan. He had a tummy ache. We need to get him some good, nutritious food, declared Dora. Rapido! Look, they're going to find him some nutritional food. The friends, the friends raced a fairy garden, which was full no, of fruits. Fizzy, fizzy, fizzy. Honey, now we're on the next page. You can feel this. The friends raced to the fairy garden, which was full of fruits, vegetables, and nuts, as well as sweets. Shall we bring El Dragon candied nuts or fruit or just plain nuts, asked Dora. Fruit and plain nuts, cried Elena and Naya. You want to feel the, the these berries? Look how sparkly they are. Yeah. Caramel apples or pineapples, asked Lana. Pineapples, cheered Naya. Pablo scratched his head. Bubblegum or bananas, he smiled. Bananas! The friends collected the healthy food and raced back to the dragon. Here we are. The friends wanted to feed the dragon healthy food, but he was full from all the marshmallows. We've got to get the dragon moving so he can build up his appetite, said Dora. Alana knew the perfect workout. Flap your arms like a dragon, she called. Stomp your feet with a dragon stomp and wiggle your dragon belly. After that, El Dragon felt better and he was hungry again. The friends fed the dragon nutritionist food from the fairy garden. Then Pablo fed the dragon beans to help him build muscle. Now the dragon was ready to take on Los Duendes. You want to feel the dragon? With a roar, the dragon rose, using his mighty dragon strength he got from the healthy food and exercise. He chased Las Duendes away. Good job, dragon. Pine Nut flew up to Dora and her friends. Thank you for helping us. Now we can get back to granting wishes, she smiled. If you make, if you'd like to make a wish, we can make it come true. I know what I want to wish for, Alana said. All the friends closed their eyes. Mmm, yummy s'mores. When they opened their eyes, they were back at the campfire. Alana had a s'more in her hand. It's just what I wished for, she said happily. When she ate it, she got an idea. 
A few minutes later, Alana presented her friends with a new dessert. They're s'mores except for the fruit. I call them smoots. <laughs> the friends laughed as they shared Alana's delicious new treat. They're smoots. Thanks for reading with us today, guys, on Kids Dream Toys.